On behalf of Integrity Repipe, the objective was to determine the root cause of failure of a submitted failed Upanor PEX A pipe. The pipe and the main crack were analyzed using optical and scanning electron microscopy CM. Executive summary. Integrity Repipe submitted a leaking PEX A pipe assembly for forensic failure analysis to determine the root cause of the leak. The leak location was adjacent to the white compression ring used in the expansion fitting assembly. Visual examination of the surface area near the expansion fitting revealed severe crazing and pitting of the pipe's surface coating. The pipe on the other side of the fitting, which had no obvious leaks, also showed the onset of crazing. Besides the main crack that caused the leak, a second, smaller crack was observed that had not yet propagated through the pipe wall. The pipe was sectioned to open the main crack, exposing the fracture surface for fractographic analysis. The crack clearly initiated on the outside surface and propagated inward. The fracture was of brittle nature, but displayed ductile behavior toward the crack arrest in the form of plastic deformation and stress whitening. Microscopic analysis further revealed that the coating was brittle and developed many cracks with the appearance of mud cracking, likely during expansion of the pipe to install the expansion fitting. The surface of the pipe underneath the coating also appeared brittle and showed incipient cracks. PEX ape is normally a very elastomeric and flexible material. However, in order to get the polar coating to stick to the non-polar PEX surface, Upanol uses a patented flame treatment process to polarize slash oxidize the surface. It is well known that PEX degrades and turns brittle by oxidation. The flame treatment used to polarize slash oxidize the PEX of pipe surface to get the coating to stick appears to be embrittling the pipe surface. Once the incipient cracks form on the outside surface of the pipe, the cracks continue to propagate by cyclic fatigue during normal use as the pipe undergoes operational pressure fluctuations. 3. Results and Discussion 3.1 Sample Inspection and Preparation Figure 1 shows the failed PEXA pipe assembly as received. Mineral deposits on the pipe outside reveal the side that had leaked. The assembly consisted of an elbow expansion fitting with two red color coated opponent pipe sections. The main crack with the apparent leak path was located adjacent to the compression ring on the expansion fitting. A smaller crack that had not yet fully propagated through the pipe wall was evident. Both pipes showed crazing near the expansion fitting figure two. The assembly was sectioned to isolate and open the crack for further microscopic analysis figure three and figure four. Inspection of the inside surface at the location of the larger crack corroborated that the crack had extended entirely through the pipe wall to the inside surface figure three. The fracture surface that is indicated by the arrow in figure four was subjected to optical microscopy and CM. Figure one. Photograph of the leak PEXA pipe assembly as received. Figure two. Photograph of the cracks and crazing which were found adjacent to the compression rings of the expansion fitting. Magnified representation shows the apparent leak location. Figure three. Photograph of pipe after sectioning to isolate and open the leak. Magnified representation of the inside surface reveals that the crack had propagated through the pipe wall. Figure four. The side with the failed pipe was completely sectioned and the crack opened for microscopic analysis. Tip of the arrow indicates location that was subjected to SEM analysis. 3.2 Fractographic Analysis of the Crack Optical microscope images of the sample showed that the color coating on the surface of the pipe was brittle as evidenced by extensive crazing and pitting figure 5. A magnified representation of a crater slash pit obtained by SEM is added. The microscopic image in figure 6 displays a cross-sectional view of the crack. Fractographic analysis of the crack reveals a fracture of brittle nature. The crack initiated on the outside surface, underneath the brittle coating and radially propagated inwards. Ductile behavior of the PEX material was observed at the locations of crack arrest, as evidenced by plastic deformation and stress whitening, meaning that the bulk of the material away from the embrittled fracture had remaining ductility. The SEM image in figure 7 displays both the outer coating surface and the fracture surface of the crack. The image confirmed the extensive embrittlement of the coating, revealing characteristic patterns, that is, mud cracking. Typical fractographic features on the fracture surface reveal that the crack propagated through the pipe wall by cyclic fatigue. The observed fatigue striations are typical and caused by operational pressure fluctuations. Figure 5. Microscopic image of the coating surface revealing severe pitting and crazing of the coating. The SEM image shows an exemplary representation of the craters slash pits in the brittle coating. Figure 6. Microscopic image of the fracture surface revealing the initiation of the crack on the outside surface of the pipe, with a radial crack propagation to the ID of the pipe, the fracture was brittle of nature but showed signs of ductile behavior towards the crack arrest, that is, stress whitening and plastic deformation. Figure 7. SEM image of the fracture surface showing cyclic fatigue striations on the fracture and appearance of mud cracking on the brittle coating. 3.3. Root cause of the failure. The most commonly observed failure in PEX piping is inside out, caused by oxidative embrittlement of the inside surface as a consequence of hydrolysis, material degradation, and extraction of the protective antioxidants of the inside of the pipe wall. Once the antioxidants are depleted, which normally protect the pipe from oxidation by scavenging free radicals, 
the surface of the pipe rapidly undergoes oxidative embrittlement. The oxidative attack causes chain scission of the polymer chains on a molecular level and degrades the material. However, the failure of the herein observed opona color coated pipes is atypical. Rather than failure initiated by oxidative embrittlement of the inside surface, the oxidative embrittlement takes place on the outside surface. Opona filed for a US patent in 2009. The patent application figure 8 describes the process they developed to color coat the pipe. In order to get the coating to stick to the outside surface of the pipe, they run the pipe through a furnace that oxidizes slash burns the outside of the pipe. This oxidation process destroys much of the antioxidants from the outside surface. Figure 8. Excerpt from Opona's patent application describing the color coating process using flame treatment, which destroys antioxidants on the outside surface of the PEX pipe. 4. Conclusions. The PEX pipe failed outside and adjacent to the compression ring of the expansion fitting. The color-coded surface of the pipe showed extensive embrittlement evidenced by mud cracking, pitting and crazing. The surface underneath the brittle coating appeared to be also brittle and showed incipient cracks. The crack initiated at an embrittled portion of the PX pipe underneath the brittle coating and propagated by cyclic fatigue, typical for pressure fluctuations during operation. Opponent's patent application reveals a flame treatment in the coating process that results in depletion of antioxidants from the outside surface and embrittlement of the surface skin layer. Embrittled PEX is unable to withstand the strain of the expansion process used to form an expansion fitting. This can cause surface defects, such as crazes and pits, that over time transform into incipient cracks, which then propagate by fatigue due to normal operational pressure fluctuations.